An aspirin a day keeps the doctor away. That's Jerome Mack's motivation for taking a daily dose. Well, my doctor recommended it for, for the heart. Ditto for Beverly Ray. Because I've had two heart surgeries. Now researchers are beginning to believe simple, over-the-counter, run-of-the-mill aspirin may be a wonder drug when it comes to cancer as well. Aspirin, through mechanisms that we don't quite understand, although we all think it's related to decreasing inflammation, can lead to a lot of benefits in oncology. Several studies show it could reduce the risk of cancer and prevent tumors from spreading. Thought to benefit are esophageal, colorectal, colon, lung, breast, liver, prostate, and melanoma cancers. We know that it works in the early stages of malignancy, but also we're finding out that it works on the later stages of malignancy, that is in patients that already have cancer. But aspirin is not for everyone. It can be hard on the stomach and regular use can cause bleeding or other gastrointestinal problems. Your stomach can be much more sensitive to the acids involved in digestion and can lead to not only a diffuse inflammation, which we call gastritis, but also to a pocket of severe inflammation and even ulceration, which is the common peptic ulcer disease. An unknown is how much is a good thing. People who take an aspirin a day for heart health generally take low dose, but it's unclear how much it takes to fight cancer. On some of these trials, they actually took low dose aspirin every other day which is you know, a really small amount of aspirin, so it may not take a lot to reach the desired effect. It's great to hear, yeah, I'll continue to take it. It may be a double dose of well-being. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.